Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to talk about how to become a social media manager with no experience at all. We are going to go step by step so make sure that you take your pen and a notebook and make the notes because by the end of this video you will know exactly what to do to become a social media manager. Now if you don't know me guys, I'm Chavi Agarwal, I'm an owner of a profitable blog, a YouTube channel and an online business coach. I create videos on making money online, freelancing and working from home on this channel. So don't forget to hit the red icon below and subscribe to my channel guys. And let's get started. So the first thing we need to understand is what is a social media manager. Now as a social media manager, you will be responsible for managing various social media accounts for businesses. So it could be Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, Pinterest, etc. So you will be managing all these accounts for your clients. As a social media manager, you can be working with any kind of client in various types of industries. So you can be managing social media for hotels. You can be managing social media for bloggers, YouTubers, online coaches like health coach, life coach, or you could be handling social media for restaurants, for various fashion brands like Gap. So you need to understand that businesses these days are very, very active on social media because it allows them to create brand awareness and reach their target clients easily. So everybody wants to be active on social media and everybody wants to have return on investment of social media. So if you are a good uh, social media manager who can drive results, who can drive awareness, who can drive leads, then you can get paid a lot of money as a social media manager. Okay. So now depending upon what kind of uh, account you're handling your job will include things like creating posts scheduling posts writing captions hashtag research keyword research etc it will totally depend upon which platform you're working on so we'll deal with that later in this video now let's start with the steps that you need to take on how to become a social media manager if you have no experience if you have no skills and if you have no education on these platforms the first thing that you need to understand is your options as a social media manager, you should focus on uh, top five social media accounts. So that would be, in my opinion, Pinterest, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, and LinkedIn. These are the top five social media accounts that are in demand right now. And you should have expertise over any one of these or all of these. Now, as you start out, because you have no experience at all, I don't want you to get confused and overwhelmed thinking, oh my God, I have to learn all these five platforms. I recommend you start with either Instagram or Pinterest because there are thousands of brands that want help with these two platforms and you can get a clientele easily. Plus these two are comparatively easier to learn and they're much more fun than any, anything else on the list. So that's the first thing I recommend. I want you to pick one social media account to start with. Now the reason behind that is to cut down overwhelm and confusion that comes along with it. So if you start out offering all of these services to all the, all, the, all the clients that come to you, you're going to get overwhelmed. You're going to be jumping from Pinterest to Instagram to Instagram to YouTube and you have no idea how each of these platforms work anyway because you have no experience till now. So you will get extremely confused. You will end up spoiling your relationship with the client and it's going to end up in a mess and I don't want that for you. So the first thing should be to pick up one social media account that you're going to master in and you're going to offer. So you can be an Instagram specialist, you can be a Pinterest manager, you can be a Facebook manager, you can be a YouTube consultant, etc. Depends upon what interests you. Now once you have decided which platform you're going to start offering your services in, the second thing that I want you to do is to decide who you want to cater to. Now, I want you to streamline your efforts towards one particular kind of clients because it's going to give you a lot of clarity and it will also bring a lot of clarity in your marketing strategy. So if you have a website or if you have social media accounts, you can easily say that I am an Instagram specialist who helps health coaches get leads, for example, or I am a Pinterest manager who can help e-commerce businesses turn their viewers and readers into paid clients so your marketing strategy is going to get a lot of clarity if you decide who your target audience is once you've decided which platform to go with and who is going to be your target client i want you to keep aside two weeks and learn about this platform rigorously so look at a lot of youtube tutorials 
go on google and search for it go on hubspot and take free courses for these um, for the social media account that you have chosen you can also go to coursera udemy skillshare and take free courses to learn those social media platforms so let's say if you are going to learn instagram then you can go to all these platforms they have some amazing free instagram courses to learn from so I want you to go through them. I want you to take notes and understand and then start your own account and test things out. Test out various kind of reels, the transitions, hashtags and do all the experiment on your own account. Okay. To understand how it works. Next step is to create a portfolio. So when you're going to market yourself as a social media manager, the first thing most clients are going to ask you is for a portfolio. So your portfolio needs to include the clients that you have worked with previously, the kind of results that you have driven, any testimonial if you have, the offers and packages that you have, your rates and how, and how to get in touch with you. Now, uh, to get certain results and the testimonials, I recommend that you work with two to three free clients for 15 to 30 days, not more than that at all. I don't want you to take on free work any more than 30 days. Now what you can do is to basically join some Facebook groups and tell them that you are looking to start an online business and you have learned, you have been learning about Instagram for example over the past few months and you are starting to offer that as a paid service. But before that you want to help certain health coaches for example grow their uh, Instagram account. So if you are a health coach, comment below, let you know and you can reach out to them with portfolio and we can book a call to see if you are a good fit. That kind of messaging. I don't want you to get desperate and say things like uh, I have no experience at all as a social media manager and I'm looking to work for free. This kind of language is going to spoil everything and nobody is going to reach out to you. You need to understand that you're a business owner. You've taken time to research and understand the social media space and you are now going to be offering it for good money. Okay, so no desperation at all. The next thing is to understand pricing as a social media manager. Now, it will really depend upon what kind of work you are submitting, how seamless your processes are, how good you are with your content strategy, how what kind of results you can drive with your uh, management, etc. But as a beginner social media manager with no experience, I would recommend you to not charge anything below 10,000 rupees a month for managing any social media platform it is not worth it if you're going to get paid anything lesser than 10,000 rupees a month so start there and with each client increase your rate so if, for example if your first client hires you for instagram management at 10,000 rupees and you are almost about to close another client and they ask you for your pricing then quote them 12,000 or 15,000 because with every client you are learning about the platform and you are getting better at your skills so with every client, increase your rates to a certain point where you are comfortable charging that. So I would say a decent social media manager should not charge anything less than 20 to 25,000 rupees a month for managing one platform. The next and the final uh, step is to start looking for clients. You need to understand where your target client is hanging out. So in most cases, because you have picked up Instagram, for example, as your uh, social media account, your target audience should obviously be active on Instagram. So start marketing yourself on Instagram as a specialist. So your content strategy will revolve around what kind of pain points your target clients have. So for example, if your target clients are health coaches, you can talk about how reels can, what kind of reels are working for health coaches or what kind of content strategy is working out for them, what kind of keywords they can use, what kind of tools they can use, what they are missing out, what kind of mistakes they are making with their Instagram profile, etc. Those kind of content so that it reaches your target audience, so it reaches your target client and then they come to you for asking questions or booking a discovery call, etc. So start promoting yourself on that platform itself. And the second way that you can find clients is to join Facebook groups and start networking there. The more you network, the more you build your network with business owners, the easier it will be to get clients and get referrals so that is very important networking is very important so guys that is all about how to become a social media manager i'm just going to summarize the entire process in six steps so let me just so let me just tell you once more your step one is going to decide one social media platform that you're going to start with you need to understand whether or not it is profitable and what kind of clients 
uh, use that platform. The second one is to select your target audience. The third one is to keep aside two weeks and learn whatever you can on that platform, whatever you can about that platform and make notes. The fourth one is to create your portfolio and work for a few clients so that your initial portfolio itself is impressive. The next step is to understand pricing. And the last step is to start finding clients on by promoting yourself on the social media account that you've chosen and on Facebook groups. This is exactly how you can become a social media manager with no experience at all. Now, if you need help, if you have no idea how to get started with freelancing, if you think you have no skills, if you are overwhelmed by this information, or if you're really scared but really want to uh, own a freelancing business, then I have something for you. You can check out the profit plan, which is my flagship online course for aspiring entrepreneurs like you who want to start off but have no idea how to. Now, Profit Plan is a very, very carefully curated online course which tells, which teaches you how to select a niche, how to select a target client, how to make your portfolios, how to create your offers, how to decide your pricing, how to find clients on LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook groups, through email pitching and so many other ways. And besides all these pre-recorded videos, you also get weekly Q&A calls with me so that I can help you personally with your queries and problems and solve them and we can work on your business together along with an amazing private Facebook group with like-minded people with aspiring entrepreneurs where you can find friends, where you can find clients and a lot, lot more. The link is in the description guys and in the first comment below. So go check it out. And for my YouTube family, I'm going to give a 10% discount and you can find the code in the description below as well. If you have any question guys, you know where to find me. You can comment below and I'll respond to your queries. I hope this video helped you out and I'm very sure that you have next steps mapped out in front of you. And I will see you next week, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.